Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to lift a super heavy kayak and a super wide kayak onto a high truck or high SUV. I'm only 5'5". Five five. Um, lifting it this way makes it feel like it's 20-30 pounds, so let's get started. So the only thing you need is your normal bars. Um, these do require that you have the bars kind of over the side rails, at least 2 or 3 inches, because you're going to want to put a little tie down strap in between and you tighten it up super tight so, that, so that'll protect your um, car SUV's paint and this is me just lifting with one hand and this is like a 95 pound Hobie Outback and it's 34 inches wide so they don't get much heavier or wider than this and this is pretty minimal effort I've tried the Thule Holovators that don't even work because they're you know the weight limit's only 80 pounds and I tried the Yakima Showdown that's 80 pounds and it's still super awkward because you have to lift the whole kayak's weight onto those bars. No really easy way to kind of shimmy it on. And with the Hobie Outback, just kind of lift it up. You can see my paint's not even close to being touched. And once it's on the bar like that, it's kind of kind of switch it over. And these straps do loosen up after a kind of heavy kayak kind of pressing on it but once you get over that hump I mean you don't even need the straps anymore I mean this car is as tall as me and it was super easy to get on if you have a small sedan yeah it'll be even easier I've tried even the Yakima showboat 66 where you kind of pull it off the rear end I mean I just don't like how it's hanging on my roof and technically someone, anyone can steal it while I'm out on the waters. So that's pretty much it. Make sure it's nice and centered. And uh, I'll watch, show you to the next part of the video where I actually show you how to take it down. Here's a little close up. See the straps kind of loosened up. I guess if you have super heavy duty straps with locking teeth, it might not slip, but these are the Hobie straps that came with the Outback. Alright, so make sure it's nice and tight again. You can jump on your tire and get some more leverage to make it even tighter, but... Alright, shift it over. And if you don't have a little padding on your tail of your kayak, you can lose a little piece of foam on the floor. These holbacks have a little um, handle that kind of help loading. Protects the rudder as well. And it's kind of shimmy. Literally I'm lifting most of it just with one hand. Let's do it nice and slowly. You can put a little rug under the tie down strap if you wanted to make sure. Because sometimes the strap, as you can see, does sag, but yeah. I'm being super careful so it doesn't slip out under the SUV or anything. This is a good time to throw down your kayak wheels. You can do it later too, but. Yeah, if you trust your system, you can uh, just do it while it's in the air like this. And this is nice because when you're about to get on the water, all you do is, you know, put your straps in your car and you get out. Versus leaving a $500 Thule or a Yakima on your top of your car, I'm sure. Yeah, even those little locks want to protect those. And that's pretty much it. Thanks.